Ukrainian armed forces are preparing battle plans along the front lines as a Russian spring offensive could be ahead. Western countries are sending main battle tanks and other vehicles to thwart the coming escalation in fighting. Last week, President Biden announced 31 M1 Abrams main battle tanks without the secret armor that would be sent to Ukraine. And Germany, Norway, Poland, and other NATO countries will send other tanks, including the Leopard 2. And even Morocco will send older T-72 series tanks currently in use in the war-torn country. And all of these, quote, donated tanks sound great, but if they don't make it to Europe and race across the battlefield by spring, then the Ukrainians might have trouble repelling the Russians. A press release via the U.S. Transportation Command, U.S. Transcom, a segment of the U.S. military responsible for transporting equipment worldwide, detailed last week that a large roll-on, roll-off vessel named the ARC Integrity, loaded with about 60 Bradley fighting vehicles, were destined for Ukraine. And as of Monday, and according to U.S. Stratcom's press release, noting the vehicles and vessel's name via marine traffic, showed the ARC Integrity is full steam ahead in the Atlantic Ocean and will arrive in Port Southampton, England, on February the 7th. And the U.S. Transcom uses large row-row carriers to transport all sorts of military equipment worldwide. And these fighting vehicles are being loaded on ports along the East Coast and Gulf Coast states. Along with that, though, could be a target of opportunity for new Russian subs. So we'll keep you updated. What are your thoughts? As usual, leave, leave them in the comments below and share our reports for TNS, Texas News Studio. Mark Myers, talk to you soon at the next report.